In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the query function by aggregate functions here in Google Sheets. So what we're going to try and do here is to use the query function with some common aggregate functions like sum, average, and count. We will also be aggregating data with the use of the clause group by. So if you haven't checked out my previous video on how to use the query function, it would be best to watch that first before proceeding to this one. I will be leaving a card at the top right corner for you to check out. So here in my master sheet, I have some data. We have a movie title, genre, director, budget, and box office revenue. On my second sheet right here, I have created a query function, which would reference to this cell right here. So having this separate cell with our query within our query function would definitely make it easier for us to edit our formula or to edit the query itself. So we have this cell reference, which pertains to this one, which again, we can easily edit to make it easier for me to demonstrate how to do these functions. So right now we have our genre column. If we go back to our master sheet, that's our column B right here which we have selected with our query function. Now let's say if I want to select another column, let's say our budget column, which is column D. I'm just going to enter that here. There we go, press enter, and there you have it. Now let's say we want to get the total budget for each genre right here in column B. So let's go back to our query formula. First, what we're gonna do is to try and get the sum or the total of our budget. So we can do that by putting in our function, our aggregate function for getting your total, which is sum. Then put our column right here in open and close parentheses. If we press enter, there you have the total budget for that column. Now, what if we want to get the budget again by genre? So we're going to do that by using the group by clause within our query function. So let's go back to our formula. Let's edit this one, put in a space in between your aggregate function and type in group by the genre column, which is column B. If we press enter and there you have it, we now have the total for each genre. Now, our next problem is that we don't know to which genre these totals belong to. So what we're going to do is to select that column right here. So again, let's go back to editing our formula, select B column, which is our genre column, comma, then the rest will stay the same, sum function for our D column and group by B column. If we press enter. Now we have selected the genre column right here, which is still grouped by each unique genre and also with a corresponding total. And there you have it. So aside from getting the total, we can also get the average. Let's again edit our formula, AVG. So that's our aggregate function within a query function, AVG representing average instead of AVE. If we press enter, there you have the average budget total for each genre. Next one, we can also do the count function to count how many movies fall under that genre in our data. We can do the count function. Now for the column, it doesn't matter which column you want to do right here. The results will stay the same. So if we do the count function and press enter, there you have it. We have 118 total movies falling in the action genre in our data set. The next highest one would be comedy. And there you have it. So if I do try and change the column right here, even if I put it in letter A, the results will stay the same. So what if I want to get the total for each genre for both the budget column and the box office revenue? We can definitely do that by just adding the same function right here. So for this one, again, that's going to be sum for our budget column, which is column D, comma, space, then sum for our box office revenue, which is column letter E, just right next to our budget column. If we press enter, 
here we have the total budget and the total box office revenue for each genre found in our data set. So you can keep going if you want to add, let's say, the average right next to your sum budget right here. We can add that right after this one. So we can have AVG for column D, comma, press enter. There we have it. We can also add the average for column E, which is our box office revenue. So AVG E column, press enter, and there you go. So you can add as many aggregate functions depending on what you want to see for your data using the query function with the help of your aggregate functions and your group by clause. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.